Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kazurak, I'm your host, Mr. Combined Syndicates of America level. But right now we gotta talk about the Socialist Constitution, the system of government. The AFL has made a splash in what many had expected to be a landslide victory for the IWW, but what was supposed to be an easy article, that of the new legislative branch, has drawn a line in the sand. IWW representatives argued that America should be a strictly anarcho-syndicalist government with all legislative vested in the industrial trade unions. These unions seek to abolish membership fees and elect representatives via wall-to-wall -wall bargaining unit elections. The AFL argues that America should be a social state with power vested in local consuls of professional workers. The AFL claims representatives would be elected via seniority with full voting rights given to only citizenry that have spent some years paying dues and serving their fellow man. TUUL representative William Foster spoke in favor of the IWW, stating, Seniority and paying to vote is no different than graft, which is something a vanguard of syndicalism cannot support. Foster's impassioned speech if it leads to the IWW's legislation passing, could signal shift in support for the TWL over the IWW. IWW. The people exercise state power through trade union councils versus the people exercise power through councils of professional workers. The fate of Canada. While in the corrupt Dominion of Canada, home of the British exiles, has capitu capitulated to her glorious armies. Reports say the king and his close circle fled the country, but that doesn't matter. We now control over the large portions of land. What you do with them? Liberate the loyal Canada? <clears throat> Liberate Canada Quebec? Our manifest destiny doesn't concern Frenchmen, liberate Quebec, and annex Canada. Or just, it's our manifest destiny. Ah! You know, it just makes sense, if, especially if we might be going down the um, radical socialist route by the same time. <clears throat> the less lag, the better. And Canada should really be part of America. So, oh, so what else do we have here? We can further suppress people. We can reclaim Hawaii. Oh, uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do here. But honestly, we don't really need to spend the political power to put down resistance. Because eventually... Like, it's decaying anyways, so we don't really need to do that. What we really need to do is figure out how to get to Africa so we can invade the Frenchies. That's going to be a little difficult to do, but the Socialist Constitution Framework. Article 1. All power in America derives from the people and belongs to the people. The people exercise state power through councils of professional workers, which constitute the political foundation of America. All other state bodies are under the control of and accountable to the councils of professional workers. Article 2. All representative organs of state authority are elected by the citizens on the basis of universal, equal, and direct suffrage by secret ballot to their respective unions. Unions reserve the right to deny workers membership if their membership fee falls into the public debt. The workers' representatives and all organs of the state authority are responsible to their electors. It will be determined by law in which cases, under what conditions, and in what way the electors may recall their representatives, even before the end of the period for which they were elected. Article 3. No law or administrative uh, local rules and regulations shall contravene the Constitution, all state organs, the armed forces, all political parties, and public organizations, and all enterprises and undertakings must abide by the Constitution and the law. All acts in violation of the Constitution and the law may be investigated by a commission of Councils of professional workers, or organization, or individual may enjoy the privilege of being above the Constitution and the law. Approved. So we're doing that. And we can do a lot more stuff here. And I do want to actually get down here quickly. Um, as much as I like less Navy fuel consumption, that's never going to be a problem. So if you're worried about that one, please go ahead. But the, the new Naval Plan... Ooh, actually no. We want to do this one first. The new Naval Plan would be better to do, which we'll read in a little bit. I want to do this one because we're going to get more daily political power. We're going to lose 100 to begin, but I, we're going to be here for quite a while. Ooh, sub cost goes back up. Ooh, that's not good. Hmm. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Subs are cheap anyways. <clears throat> Most shipyards were damaged or lost to workers during the Second Revolution. The restoration of the old and reform of the present naval facilities will be the second step towards the restoration of the American Navy. Competitions of new ships have already begun and will not help, and help us not only recreate the American Navy, but also get rid of old designs that proved to be ineffective. Which is very good, because we're trying to get some better subs. And I want some subbies. Socialist Constitution, Human Rights and Workers' Rights. Oh, we can lower this by five, probably. Article 6. Citizens... Article 6. What happened to 4 and 5? Citizens are guaranteed the freedom of the press, freedom of speech, freedom of association, freedom of assembly, and the freedom to hold public meetings and de demonstrations. Freedoms of conscience and freedom of religion are guaranteed to citizens. Citizenship is defined as all Americans living legally within the United States, or America, during the time of ratification of the Constitution. The Church and the State are not obligated to adhere to each other's authority. Article 7. Women have equal rights with men in all fields of state, economic, and social political life. Women have the right to collectively bargain as much as men do for the same work and workers. Or as workers or employers or employees, they enjoy special protection. The state reserves the right to pay an equivalent wage up to 20 hours of work a week to mothers before and after childbirth. Article 8. Citizens of America are guaranteed 
and viability of the person. No one may be arrested except by a court decision or by a warrant of a procurator. Citizens of America are guaranteed inviolability of the home. No one may, without lawful grounds, enter a home against the will of those residing in it. Article 9. The state promises working people the right to associate and organize themselves as collectively bargaining units. Or bargaining units. <clears throat> The state protects persons' dignity of labor from exploitation by private enterprises, ensuring the right to paid uh, annual holidays by controlling working conditions, by devoting attention to housing conditions and social insurance. Approved. Let's get to why. Because they're, they're, what are they? Radical socialists anyways. So we're pretty close to them in ideology. Oh, Mexico's. Oh, yeah, we have to do with Mexico. Ah, Jose Antonio Orquiza. Radical socialists. Nice. Social const Socialist Constitution Judiciary. The IWWs have made a strong impression for moving the Supreme Court as a final appeal for the constitutionality. Instead of making the Apple appellate courts carry that weight, reminding members of the convention of the court's track record for legalizing oppression of unions and downright reactionary laws, Elizabeth Gurley Flynn <coughs> remarked that preserving an unelected position of final legal decision could lead to authoritarianism. To the surprise of many, Earl Browder, the TWL, uh, TWL dissented, arguing that this discrimination was a result of a corrupt party system, not an inherent flaw in the U.S. Constitution. To broad to remove the Supreme Court would endanger the unity of the nation and lead to more schisms, as has happened in the Bolshevik Russia. In Bolshevik Russia. As the AFL is quietly dissented with its own vanguardist cohort, and plus support Flynn if a resolution passes, ensuring a judicial review of the court, the Supreme Court will not be missed. <clears throat> Why rejoins America? Today, a small garrison of American troops did land in Pearl Harbor, marching through the Oahu and the city center of on Honolulu. At noon, the Hawaiian flag on top of the uh, uh, Iolani Palace was lowered, and the combined syndicates of America's flag was raised. Arthur Abraham Rutledge then gave a speech asking Hawaiians to celebrate the reunion between Hawaii and continental America. Excellente. Nice. And we all want to rebuild them as soon as possible, so. Currently we get 0.6 feet, which is not good, but, you know, it is what it is. Hey, good job. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, honestly, we could probably use some Marines, but we don't have enough, we don't have enough army XP. Right, join him here. Constitution, economics. Article 15, the foundation of the economic system of America is a socialist ownership of the means of the production of the forms of public property, belonging to all the people, collective uh, cooperative uh, property. Article 6, all mineral and other underground wealth, the waters, including mineral and medicinal waters, the sources of natural power, and the means of all rail and air transport, the posts, telegraphs, telephones, and broadcasting are public property. Article 17, the land belongs to those who cultivate it. Property of collective farms and other cooperative organizations and other joint undertakings and comprises the means of production and other assets which they require for the purposes laid down in the rules. Land held by collective farms is secured to them for, the, for their free use in perpetuity. Article 18. Private property and private initiative and economy are guaranteed. The inheritance of private property is guaranteed. The right of inheritance is regulated by the state. No person is permitted to use the right of private property to the detriment of other people's community. The existence of private monopolistic organizations, such as cartels, syndicates, trusts, and other similar organizations created for the purpose of or repurposed for dictating prices, monopolizing the market, and damaging the interests of the public economy is forbidden. Private property may be limited or expropriated if the common interest requires it, but only in accordance with the law. It will be determined by law in which cases and to what extent the owner shall be compensated. Under the same conditions, individual branches of national economy or single enterprises may be nationalized by law the common interest requires it. Approved. <clears throat> I could do that, but I do want to I do want to go to extensive conscription next if we can. Because we're technically still at war. Actually, we can only go here too, but we'll see. Inter inter interim president. Good. Go, Liberia, go. So as to the president, a surge of unaligned delegates has attempted to leave <clears throat> for recess several times to no avail. It appears that the issue of the executive power has met an impasse and a decision must be made before the delegates star starve in any decision. On one side is the IWW, whose plan for a complete anarcho syndicalist government uh, requires there not to be an executive officer. Their belief is that a president is an inherently reactionary populist position and they will ensure that a person like Huey Long can never rise to power in the new America. Thomas suggests a weak head of the state position. The opposition is another cooperation of AFL and TUUL who wish for a strong face to represent America. A leader without the means, they argue, can never save America as Reed did without power. Norman Thomas has condemned the AFL for what he sees as a bourgeois coup. Or not bourgeois, but a bourgeois coup. Perpetrated by the AFL and TWUL to revive the old federal, go federal government. John L. Lewis of the AFL rises to object, saying a subordination to the IWW program is no different than a single party state. And actually, we're doing that one already, so it's good. A work, a weak head can never oppress. A power of the president we shall have. Okay, well, that's okay. 
Uh, that stuff is okay as well. I just want to make sure that the subs do extremely well. So, uh, I think that's pretty much it for subs. Now, I do want these other stuff here too, but... It is only 19, it's only 1939 we won the war already, Jesus. That's kind of, that's kind of stupid how fast we won that. Oh, but Austria Hungary did fail which is actually really cool. I like that. And now they're fighting a two-front war. They're actually slowly losing already, which is nice. They're international. Once they're done here, they should be able to push into the French territory as well. So I'm not sure what the angle will be. Maybe the angle will be taking out so Central and South America. Maybe. We'll see. Centralization or decentralization? <clears throat> The convention, after resuming, has found themselves more divided than ever. The core of the IWW uh, has found themselves, uh, has galvanized into a stricter dogma that pushes for the remaining articles to protect against tyranny of a central government, demanding protection through the lifetime assurance of a union membership, and combining social security with lifelong employment. Several IWW delegates had implied that the AFL had been antagonistic and would prefer a return to capitalism. In response, the AFL has been swayed by the TWL to emphasize the dignity of labor and government. <clears throat> This argument rebukes industrial unionism with craft unionism, where the right to fair wages for where fair work is done done replaces the IWW's goal of the abolition of wages. Browder, again, takes a stage calling to protect craft unionism as it prevents a tyranny of the 51% over the 49% in union elections. Guaranteed employment with stop tyrants? Dignity of labor. The interim president, though. On the final day of the Congress, John Silas Reed, better known as Jack Reed, announced that he would be stepping down as the leader of the country. Rumors of his deteriorating health were kept away from the press, a gentleman's agreement of sorts. Jack Reed proclaims that he will spend his remaining time with his wife, Louise, and his daughter, moreover. Mo Reed emphasized his role to, was to see the country through the revolution, but a new leader needs to be lead it now. Of the attendees at the Congress, two have gained the most prominence. One is Elizabeth Gurley Flynn of the IWW, who has begun a national campaign to accept voters for the possible female president. <coughs> namely herself. The other is Norman Thomas, who's, uh, who's led the SBA delegates to work with the Social Democrats to pledge votes to him. There's an understanding that even through the, this position of leadership is interim until the election, it will still will allow either president to exert a great deal of influence over the country's groundwork. Um, who is this? No, please, Commonwealth of America. Norman Thomas? Well, I don't think I've ever played as Norman Thomas. I don't know if I've ever played as Flynn, but my goal is actually to probably play as Th Thomas earlier on, so. Commonwealth of America? The Socialist Republic of America rises. If you want to read about that, please read Long live comrades in America. Well, look at that guy. The all-inclusive socialist. We get more compliance speed growth and political power. That's actually really strong. <clears throat> so if you like to read about him, please go right ahead. Um, someone, actually, you know what? Let me go through this. Let's see American. Oh, yeah. If you want to about that, please go ahead as well. Business unionism, industrial unionism. Oh, uh, well, that's, hmm. protectionist policies, social dividends, general defense committee, damage Gearson's particular revolution, uh, publicly owned enterprises. It's not bad. New American syndicalism. This is not all bad. You know. Industrial democracy on this side. Uh, they're very similar on both sides. <clears throat> Begin reconstruction. Add reconstruction. Ooh, you do get more stability, which I do like, because we need some stability. So, the Second American Civil War blasted our country to pieces. Large parts of rural America are not but mud and ashes, while countless cities have been reduced to smoldering rubble. We shall set to work developing new housing infrastructure as soon as possible. Cool. Oh. Um. Yeah, that's nice. Liberia, sure. Why not, guys? Yeah. Can we? Can we just have a peace out? Oh, the capital. One of the last things to be decided upon is the capital of America. While many are advocating for DC as a location of the new capital, as well as the old capital, it was easy. It easily fits a purpose. Others advocate for the loyal cities of Chicago, Philadelphia, and New York City. Which convention? Which shall the convention choose? Um. I forget which one. I think. My Discord mod, one of my chat mods, said I should choose Chicago, so we're going to stay with Chicago for now. The Windy City. No corruption there. As we're still getting more garrisons here, too, so. Uh, let's see. Uh, at least, it looks like. <clears throat> Resistance is overall going down. Oh, there goes Dominion. Man, the Entente is just really sucking hard this campaign. Ah, oh, con Constitutional Convention has concluded. The Constitutional Convention has finally come to an end, and the new Constitution of America has been written. The delegates are returning to their home states with a new set of allies and rivals. Despite the optimism expressed in the congratulatory photos, the real work of rebuilding the country has just begun. Oh, we won! I don't remember doing anything about in India at all. <laughs> and I was not looking over there at all, so... This is going to kind of suck. Um, how much can you just take them? <clears throat> nice. Good stuff. Rally public support. Well, at least we got him here now. And we have point seven three. that's better. That's still better. Oh, the fifth Balkan War. Man, Europe is a dumpster fire right now. Wow, that sucks for uh, you guys over here. West Polynesia? Oh, crap. I guess we do have to garrison these guys too. 
At least protect, uh... Oh, do we get the... Is there a navy over there, too? Oh, we did get some ships. Oh, that's good. Alright, so you... What the heck is all this stuff? What the heck is this? <laughs> what the heck? There you go. There you go. There you go. You guys can do that. Hmm. You're better overall. That's good. Um, big guns, capital ship attack, transfer receive critical hits. More attack? Yeah, I want more attack. Safety first. Get both of them as well. You guys, actually, go over there since that would be really good at too, anyways. Now we need some carrier planes, don't we? Yes, sir. We just need more military factories in general, because we can make stuff. You really only need is two there to really get two. Oh, crap, what happened over here? Oh. Oh, okay. Sure, why not? They should be going down. As we're getting more and more manpower, I mean, we're remobilizing since we're out of... Oh, never mind. Um, well... Wow, we have no political power now, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, gotta love it. Here, save some of that manpower, because we need it, definitely. Building a ship. And begin reconstruction for more stability. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, I'll do that, too. That'd be good. That'd be very good. American maritime industry? Nice. Deal with the feds. Yeah, that'd be good. Of course, business. Unionism? Hmm. Liberty ships? Red magic? Who does that? Oh, applies the form department to your intelligence. Let me see. Let me see. Begin reconstruction. Uh, reconstruction armies? King Edward abdicates the throne, as, as they should. Extremely unpopular in the high command. May, may no resign if we go down this path. Ooh, advanced subs. Nice. Good job, guys. It is now Nifty 40. Happy Nifty 40, everybody. Uh, let's go there. And we will try to get a nuclear program as well. Advanced sub daddies. What else do we have here? Threes. Not bad. Threes. Not bad. We have enough for this? Yes. We literally barely have enough. Uh, there you go. Make a lot of subs. We won't have the manpower for it, but that's okay. And if you're going to be made, I want you guys to deploy in the south. What is this? State Red Guards. Distribution of duties. That's not bad. Uh, armies of the state. You get more population. I like that. Why is the council not going back? Always ready, always there. That's not bad. Uh, or you go this side. Professionalize it. More organization, more attack and defense. Just period. Increased military spending. Defense Logistics Agency. Paul Robeson takes a world tour. Uh, after a long hiatus from acting, socialist activist Paul Robeson is ready for a world tour with a powerful voice and collection of a traditional African-American labor music. Robeson has become the Mar Marian Anderson of socialists in America. Just like Anderson before him, he chose to embark on a world tour to spread his music in support for black American rights to European theaters. This tour includes stops in London, Paris, and even Florence. These European audiences, though in touch with American culture, still see black American culture as exotic. Bon, bon voyage, Robeson? Well, I'm not sure how far he can go over there just because they're still fighting, but yeah, he probably still can. Oh, that's good for supplies consumption. Continental Red Army. Ooh, you get more army XP gain. Um, honestly, yeah, th this other one is better. I think this one honestly, is better. You know, you get more population here, too. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. You get a bonus for, uh, or cost reduction. You do get more stability going that on this way, too, and more of that, so. Probably professionalize the Continental Army. Despite the opposition of some political circles to the step, our high commanders have planned to professionalize their militias and turn them into a proper army. Although our lower level commanders and some militias are concerned about this step, and look at it as a return to pre-revolutionary times, I was definitely improve the effectiveness of our soldiers and command. Any point in success even better than before. Even better. Oh, we can store order in Nebraska. Yes, please. There you go. Hope we get some cores there, too. Looking pretty good here. Nice. Wait, we can't do this one? Oh. Does not have a spear. Oh, I can't professionalize it? Oh, god dang it. That sucks. Well, business unionism. Just going to start with that one. And I'll read it. Many within the combined syndicates mock the idea of business unionism, calling it betrayal of the revolution. While these purists fail to realize that after 200 years of capitalism in America, we need an intermediary economy to ease the transition in socialism. Thus, Congress has ended the state of system of state control, system of state control, of pricing of goods that was implemented under Reed. Nice and all. Social revolution. Uh, we need more stability, so after that, we'll probably go social revolution. The land of the free and home of the brave was anything but. We had our work cut out for us in ridding America of corruption, racism, and chauvinism. The first step is to tear up the very core of all these things, the capitalist system itself. Premier of God Save King Billy. Uh, if you know about this one, please go right ahead. Chaplain's outdone himself. Columbia to clear one Panama, very cool. 
For now, you can honestly probably go and train as well. Um, we need more daily army XP, so that's something else to think about too. A lot of supply consumption, more organization. Yeah, that's actually really strong. And plus point two. More defense is not bad, but organization is really good. Serbia's joined. Yeah, Doctrine of Autonomy. We're going to go with Guns and Butter. Hey, yeah, look at that manpower. Nice, 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 nice. Suppress resistance. We're good. We got to save our PP. Save it, save it, save it, save it. Save, save it. Build, 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 build more because we are. We're definitely lacking a whole lot here. It looks like it's going to be the third international versus uh, the Moscow Accords. Probably. Well, the Germans are holding out the Russians fairly okay, but even... Th oh, how are you losing this badly over here, man? There's a lot of bloodshed over there. Yeah, no other resistance stop. That sucks. How far are we doing with the military factories? We have a lot to go. Do that. Uh, lower by five for now, so we can start getting some more motorized. We don't need that many motorized, though. That'd be good. We're gonna need more uh, rubber too. We could trade away for it, or we could build more synthetic refineries. 100% infrastructure in Illinois. That's just it's kind of whack. Catholic workers movement. Uh, if you don't know about that, please go ahead. I know about this one before as well. So, how much support do we have for radical socialism? 44% is pretty good. That's pretty darn decent. Not gonna lie. Three more days for that. It's pretty good too. Um, and then social revolution. Because recovering from the Civil War's market socialism, recovering from the Civil War's god awful. Oh my goodness, magnetic detonators, very nice. Very good. Nice. So you guys do that. And now we're at nine, and then do you, and then split you in half. There you go. Cool. And I get through some comments as well. Now we're just protecting our coasts, but we could be doing a little bit more than that probably too. Just in case. You never know. You really just never know. Out of social revolution, though. Rebuilding the country. More stability will be good as well. Yeah, as much as I want to do this stuff, too. Uh, we get, ooh, 100 political power. Yeah, let's do that one next. So we get the political power so we can raise our um, economy level. Reforming the capital system is a Herculean task, and it can't be merely be wished away with state quotas and economic plans. Congress will now begin assembling local representatives of craft unions in order to determine the best plan for economic growth while protecting professional workers from obsolescence. And getting hundred political power in the meantime. But a couple comments. Uh, someone says Kaiser won't update. Um, have you tried uninstalling it and reinstalling it? Have you? Are you on the literally the latest update beta for Hearts of Iron Four? That's probably the most important thing there. Have you cleared your cache? Maybe. Um, those are all different things you could try to do. And there's another, there's a way to do like you do a very 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 hard restart of Void Four or in mods. But like I don't think you need to do that. But so, you know, if you ever have issues like that, always uninstall, reinstall. Sometimes eliminate or remove or clear the cache and stuff like that. So. I'm just keeping an eye on it. Let's see. Resistance. Oh, I was resistance looking. It's still going down, which is good. Overall, yeah, it's going down across the nation since we have enough uh, manpower now. So I'm good, 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 good. I just want to spend political power you know, changing that stuff. And. Oh, the fall of Lisbon. Grips of Wrath Premier. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Yoran is gone. And this is a film for the masses. And what a film it was. Better radar is very, very good as well. Yay, 1940. Ship stuff, plane stuff. We don't want bad planes. So we gotta make sure we got that stuff too. Mexico is going to town. And you know what? Let Mexico get stronger. I don't mind if they get stronger, 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 just because that means we have a bigger enemy to fight later on. And that sounds like fun. Having an even bigger army. A bigger enemy. Redistribute the wealth. Mm. Oh, that's not bad too. Let's redistribute the wealth. We will no longer be tolerating a social order wherein men who do absolutely nothing useful can amass millions of dollars while millions of proletarians work all day of their lives, securing barely enough to prolong a wretched existence. The end of the banks. Corporations and hoarders are finally here. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I had a sneeze. Oh my goodness. Oh, nasty sneezing. Nasty, nasty, nasty. How are we building? Building some civvies still? Good. Good, good, good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Look at all that manpower. I love it. Get those planes. And actually get those uh, refineries too. Uh, that, uh, building a refinery in New York City must make it just so nice to live in. Just, just so nice. I bet. Just. Mm. Oh man, we're gonna have a, such a big navy. Not gonna be a good navy, but it'll be a big navy. Look at all that. Good. Oh, and now we can go. Uh, as much as I want more manpower, we're gonna wait for that. The fall of Kunming. Oh. Well, these guys are doing okay-ish. 
Excuse me, Russia looks like a mess, but so does China. China looks even more like a mess. Oh, even Sweden is doing pretty well against the Reds, but... Eastern Micronesia? Oh, god dang it, whatever. I can't be bothered. People's Conservation Committee since 1916, the National Park Service Act, Americans have been able to preserve natural splendor safe from industrialization. Since the revolution has now been achieved, a movement has cropped up. To combine this conversationism with all progressive ideals, a number of new national parks has been created on top of houses of capitalism, as well as the People's Conservation Committee to guide the preservation. A top priority of the PCC is to replant trees in the Midwest, the source of the dust storms that threaten our food supply. Though it took a lot of convincing to get Congress to fund the project, the PCC hopes that in a few years, the dust storms that used to reach Washington, D.C. will only be memory. And... It, Puts people to work boot. To boot. Yeah, actually not bad. I love national parks. Cool. Um, so yeah, another comment was go Todos. Well, at this point, we're going to go uh, Radical Socialist. I've done, like I said before, I think, uh, Todos route. But as much fun as that is, we're going to stay uh, uh, Radical Socialist. Someone also said that we can elect uh, Eleanor Roosevelt in 1944 if you have Thomas or Sinclair. So that'd be kind of cool. I've never played as Eleanor Roosevelt, so we'll see about that. I want to go to Costa Rica as well. <clears throat> My apologies for the slight delay. Cool. Craft union committee. Redistribute the wealth. Yeah, good. Victory of the Bar Tiakami, which I don't know why they. Oh! We have a tank division. Oh. Anyway, you know what? That's fine. That's good. Um, What else do we have here? Anything else? Uh, suppress resistance. <clears throat> Not much else there. Let's go to partial mobilization. Keep building. We're even building some roads now, which is awesome. We used to be the wealth, protecting the working class. I want another research slot if possible. I don't know if we can get one. Revolutionary memorials. With the revolution now over, the countless memorials have gone up throughout the country <clears throat> to honor the sacrifices of the men and women that made the revolution possible. While many honor those that fought for the revolution itself, they're also ones honoring the struggles like Haymarket Market Square riot. As the memorials are made by the community, no one was there to check whether the statue was appropriate until the press got a hold of the story. Apparently, statues were erected honoring the 1916 Preparedness Day bombing and the 1920 Wall Street bombing. The press claimed erroneously that the government... <clears throat> approved of these memorials, and are honoring the bombers. These statues were silently taken down, and official apologies are forced out of the city councils responsible for this mean-spirited action. Everyone shall be honored, unless they are bombers. Women's liberation? Oh. Yeah, we want this one. Revolutionary education. Academia has been nurturing the mother of many revolutionaries, but the education system itself is still inher inherently reactionary. Throughout American history, education was designed and reformed to produce more obedient workers, more crooked capitalists, and more heartless politicians, which ends now. Keep an eye on that. Oh, there we go. Restore order here. Yes, please. That'll be good. North Dakota. Anything else? Anywhere else? Because North Dakota is at how much? 10% less. And the change revolution defeated. Uh, it's not really going down too much. The fall of Bucharest. But is compliance going up? Wait, why is... What? Wait. Why is... Well, the order's not going down. What the heck? Up. Uh, Police division? Yeah, um, that'd be better. Smelly butter passes away. A day of national mourning has been called out amongst the Socialist Republic of America, and as the news of the passing of former Field Marshal Smelly Butter was announced by the governor of Chicago, the war hero was found dead in his office this morning, having spent the past few weeks coordinating <clears throat> the American war effort, taking very few breaks and only permitting those in his upper echelons of the military command to visit him. The coroner's report of this autopsy would eventually reveal that he had died from gastrointestinal complications compounded by excessive overworking. Having announced his plans for retirement once the current conflicts our nation is entangled in finally come to an end, Butler oversaw important reforms and overhauls of the People's Vanguard, transforming it into a well-organized fighting force that only saw the emancipation of the working class all across the continental U.S. His sudden death has rocked the nation to its core, with many in the army still believing his work and guiding it to be unfinished. At Capitol Hill, a full state funeral was given in commemoration of him including military honors. A procession led by his fellow Marines who had followed alongside him for many years. His coffin was laid in the state of the Capitol Rotunda for three days before being buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Your contributions will never be forgotten. Rest in peace. We received numerous reports from Mexican troops currently ma massing that a great deal of reconnaissance is taking place across the American border. Military officials say it's clear that Mexico is planning an invasion of the Socialist Republic of America, one that can begin any time within the next several weeks. We must get ready. Oh boy. Wow, Mexico is a very long boy. They've been, they've been hard at work. Just like us trying to sink enemy convoys. And I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. We distribute that wealth. Revolutionary education. Followed up with women's, women's liberation? Nah, rebuilding the country. Actually, the current civil war, uh, protecting the working class. Uh, market socialism, market socialism, market socialism. Cool. 
The revolution is over, but without swift action, the wounds torn open by the Second American Civil War will continue to fester and bleed. We must work with haste to build up an egalitarian, equal, and enduring America from the ruins of the old. American Artists Congress. The American Artists Congress is an organization that has been created to unite artistic people around the country and help promote the arts within America. From traditional artwork to filmmaking, all are supported within the Artists Congress. It's quickly become a popular organization to show. The new avant-garde art of the revolution, the chairman Ernst Hemingway, has already begun planning for a series of patriotic publications about life during the revolution. Hemingway's appointment to chairman has caused some backlash from artists like John de Os Passos and John Steinbeck, who claim Ernst's politics have turned authoritarian in recent years due to his work in producing propaganda for the 1936 U.S. elections, art for the masses, and the fate of the Boy Scouts. A question has come up in regards to the Boy Scouts of America, some within Congress regard as a reactionary organization, notable for including a pledge of scouts or loyal to their employers in the days before the revolution, among the other issues. To that end, a number within Congress believe that a new pioneer organization should be created, similar to the ones in the socialist countries in Europe, called the Pioneers of America. Unlike the Boy Scouts, this organization will be for both boys and girls. These pioneers are supported by the government to help make sure that the new socialist ideals are passed down to the next generation. Leave it alone. Pioneers of American Emergency Reserves called up. With a declaration of war on the Socialist Republic of America by Mexico, veterans of the Civil War scrambled to enlist in the National Reserves, compelled by a feeling that the, that the Mexican government was preying upon us at our weakest moment. While the new corps are spread all over the country, they are ready, to eager, ready and eager to fight against the enemy. They shall pay for this. Oh, would you look at that. Emer wow. Not bad, but, uh... Rejoin the ranks. Because we have actually already started marching into, uh, Mexico here, so... Um, nothing else about suppressing. Suppressing is fine. Um, we might actually want to mobilize more units, maybe. Uh, maybe we'll see. Except the conscription. I might actually want to come down here and get one of these guys going. One of these companies. Mm, that's so good. I always choose Bethlehem Steel, but it's just so strong. 50% more military and civilian factory construction speed. That is ridiculously strong. And our convoys are still going at it, so. And we're still doing revolutionary education. Followed up by rebuilding the country, of course. I can't remember if I read this one. I think it did, so... If you want to read that one again, please go right ahead. We'll build that third country. Alright, boys and girls, give them a few more seconds, and then we're going to go launch a devastating attack on the Mexicans. The very long Mexicans, I should say. Uh, you guys. Actually, can we just fight on you? We'll see. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. Subs. Oh, just keep cranking them out, son. More subs for the sub machine. We're we'll building that third country. Sierra Madre, huh? Fifth research slot. Not enough. Um, fuel would be nice, but... Planes are also very good, too. Hey, restore order in Kansas? Yes, please. War propaganda? Why not? Because we can. And let's see. It's going to be really bloody, but we might be able to do really well down here, maybe. Fighting over the Rio Grande is probably a really bad idea, but... Oh, they're doing force defense, too, now. Oh, that's not good. We'll see. Superiority wise, we actually have enough planes. Nice. They have a few planes too, but not too bad. Uh, yeah. If they definitely want to do. Oh, I mean, look at that. Holy crap. So they have what? A quarter million have been lost. Oh, we got 121,000 of them, huh? 41,000 of those guys. We're 10,000 losses. No way he's not giving up yet, but. Yeah, with them doing force defense. I mean, I don't know why they went to war with us when. Uh, we can throw Arkansas. And Wyoming. But, like, I don't know why they went to war with us. We, of course, need more rubber, but, you know, what else is new? It's fine for now. Yeah. Uh, that's that's probably really bad to do for them. They'll be losing even more strength than they probably initially wanted to, but... You know, that's their problem, not ours. Actually, since we're here, anyway, screen agency. Uh, actually, you know, let's wait until we get that upgrade, maybe. Maybe we'll just auto-give it to us. Ooh, you guys, actually... See if we can do that. Anything down here we really care about? Mm, I mean, improvisation experts good and all, but yeah. Also, we saw a smuggly butler. We saw we read earlier that he died. Well, that appears to have been a lie. So I'm not really sure how to react to that one. We get some dockyards too. North Carolina, yes, please. Oh, it's, I love the green. You know what? I'm glad they went to war with us. I wanted to take on Mexico. I always want to take on Mexico. Warhawk, very good. Grabs that too. Thank you. And this does, give us, of course, give us more army XP, which I love, 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 love. Not bad. Keep making a... Oh, we're not making a civvy. But once one of these... Once the radar's done, we'll make more civvies, too. Would you look at that? Nice. Electric torpedo. And then do... Ooh, hormone torpedoes just a little bit ahead of time. Let's do more stuff here over here. 
John Reed Clubs? Throughout the country, a number of literature clubs called John Reed Clubs have emerged. They're to help our organized writers across the country to help promote reading and literacy through local communities, focus on social literature, and in particular the corpus of John Reed's nonfiction work, Reading for Read. Nice. More subs? Oh, yes, please. Keep going at him. Oh, he's almost a green water expert. Good job, guys. Good job. Losses. 24,000 versus 182,000. Not bad. Thank you, Mexico, for helping us out here. Homes for the people, landlords, and real estate tycoons. Having a plague upon this nation. Now that they've been cast down or fill out the country before righteous advance, we will appropriate their ill-gotten lands and give them those in need. Let's the poor and starving from the slums. Yes, please. And what else? <clears throat> What else do we want to do? Publicly owned enterprise. That's not bad, actually. Infrastructural expansion, industrial development, agriculture investments, protecting the working class, councilism, town hall democracy, federalism, destroy Jim Crow. Actually, getting this stuff done, too, would be really good as well. But doing this one as well would be very strong, so the syndicated public service. Agitation propaganda cannot reach the millions of Americans that object to overseas wars. The Mormons, Mennonites, Jehovah Witnesses, and Hutterites. They refuse to find the Civil War now offered an outlet in forestry to aid in reconstruction. Hey! Nice job, guys. Uh, Montana? Yes, sir. So now the reserves are going to probably be called down. Let's see. Let's take a look here. We didn't even use the tanks because I hate using tanks in uh, this part of the country, so. Oh, Mexico had foreign claims on them, too, huh? Uh, uh, then again, we're still at war, so we'll see what happens. But promote sewer socialism. In the old days of the Socialist Party, uh, success was measured by how clean your sewer system was, especially in Wisconsin, where Morris uh, Hillquit made his, his campaign promise to help clean up the city in reforming and organizing public maintenance services. Hillquit showed that socialism could reorganize society without having to redefine or destroy its foundations. The principles of sewer socialism must have been taken to the whole of the nation now that the chains of oppression have been broken. Many cities such as Pittsburgh are filled with pollution that cover the skies now that the revolution is over. Cities all across the country shall be cleaned up and modernized. Americans and the international community should appreciate a clean sewer system as much as they do a skyscraper. Cleanest sewers in the world. We're going to need more stability. Because we're going to be doing the fate of Mexico. After a long campaign across Mexico, we finally managed to shatter the Mexican defenses. Mexico City is now in our hands. What's not sound what the future of Mexico is? Liberation? No. Fate of Central America? We'll do the people of Central America. Liberate Cent I, I kind of like that idea, but at the same time... Oh, whoops, my finger slipped. And that's why we need more stability. Owen versus Thomas. After some time, the interim government has laid out terms in the Constitution of the Socialist Republic of America finally been drawn to a close, meaning that the Thomas come for a new permanent president to be elected by the Assembly. Although the office is still young, the dominance of the SBA party core of the Constitutional Convention has ensured that the president wields a fair degree of power. As such, the election carries much significance. A man elected to the presidency will likely help shape American policy for the next four years. Furthermore, garnering enough support to get the candidate installed in the presidency is strong proof of a faction's leading role in politics. And the breakup of the SBA has left the two opposing parties very interested in doing such. And at a point in time, in Chicago, a stage is set in front of the assembled WPA and SBA delegates from the Workers' Party in Wisconsin. Daniel Hohen gave a speech appealing for nomination as president of the CSA. Hohen promised to defend the legitimacy of the CSA, both internally and abroad. Let's put forward the successful mayorship of Milwaukee's a template for rebuilding American cities. The next speech was from New York Socialist Party representative Norman Thomas, former Presbyterian preacher turned socialist advocate. Thomas vowed to form a popular front with survivors of the former Labor Party, apply Christian ethics to Socialist Republic of America's government, and ensure that the country would not experience a drastic change so soon after its establishment. Owen and Thomas spent the next few days in a sporadic debate across Union papers. Owen accused Thomas of being a closet nationalist, citing his long records of anti-war activism prior to the Civil War and challenging his de dedication to the cause of internationalism. Thomas defended himself, saying that anti-war politics were the right path for America to stay out of imperialist wars. He returned that Owen was beholden to allies in the WPA and would infringe on workers' rights in favor of industrialization, to which Owen replied that he and the WPA were very active in guaranteeing labor rights into law during the Constitutional Convention and that there is no reason to believe that the industrial expansion will cause such a large crisis. At the end of this, the party has reconvened Chicago and voted the winner, and the next American president will be not Daniel Hohen, just saying, just because he, he loves sewer, sewer socialism, which is cool and all, but radical socialism for the win for this campaign. And actually, plus, two, plus 20% like compliance growth, that's going to help out so much here. Oh, still got plus one. Fine. Not great, but whatever. It's fine. What do we have here? Oh, so, uh, yes, son. Yes, sir. Very nice. Oh, you probably have a lot of actually supply issues down here. Um, 
to bet. We have roads. It's fine. Home to the people. And this still indicated a public service. Yes. A little more stability too. Which would be great. Emancipation for all. Destroy Jim Crow, deal with America First Party. We'll probably do that stuff in the next episode. Uh, central defense, protect the revolution, protect freedom of speech. Damage garrisons goes down. Um, yeah, I did read this one earlier, so probably do this one as well, so which would be very, very good. The fall of Cairo, armored vehicle, armored vehicle industry. It's not bad. Armored development. It just armor just costs so much to make. Destroyers are nice though. Nineteen forties World Series. The nineteen forty World Series of baseball is here. This is the first World Series since the Revolution. The tennis is high. Seven games of baseball over six days of the Cincinnati Reds fought the Detroit Tigers. The games are extremely close. So the final game is anyone's guess, and the winner is somebody. Oh, bear troops. Oh, that's kind of cool. American, ooh, that's not bad to get either. Uh, Detroit Tiger wins. The Tigers won the game. The final game was close, but Hank Greenberg, known as Hebrew Hammer, scored the final home run in the final inning, securing the win for the Detroit Tigers and making it so that they won the 1940s World Series. Go Tigers! Yeah. With the victory in the Civil War, the American fleet was harshly damaged. Many officers and sailors joined the reactionary forces and fought against the will of the people. In the, in the end, when they were defeated, they damaged and destroyed their ships. Our oldest naval commanders proposed starting the restoration of the American fleet to its former status. Probably a good idea. Alabama, Louisiana. Oh, the South is now finally on board. Sort of-ish. Uh, what else do we have over here? Utah, Nevada. Nice. Good stuff. Carrier fighters. Get some better carrier fighters. Mockley, Joel, and Sealy, Cleek. Very good, very good. We do want to go with Yucatan as well, just because we can't... Oh, we're out of PPS, so we can't do it. Got to do it. Yeah, whatever. Another armor division. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to leave it there for now. These Marines. Ooh, that's actually 14 combos because these... Not worth it. These Marines are not very good. These Marines are, are quite... Okay, Emergency National Guard. Eh, we'll leave that there for two. Get rid of that. Eh, for division, not here too. Yeah, I don't care, don't care. Hmm. Having line infantry is good and all, but... Actually, that's not too bad to keep. Uh, actually... Do we have Mountaineer? No, we don't. You... Old Gimlet Eyes... And now we can get rid of this one. Continental Marine is fine. Hey, actually, have some political power now. Go, go figure. Professionals account in our army as well. Remove reconstruction armies. We lose some stability, construction speed. Or we get more division organization, tech, and defense. Yeah, we'll first. And we'll do a new naval plan as well, which would be good. Liberty ships. Redistributed corporate wealth. One of the few things Reed had agreed with the villainous long on is wealth redistribution. Reed's wartime rationing had given away to peacetime legislation to prevent the robber barons. <clears throat> or robber baronies he had fought all his life. This is enacted in the form of the final wishes of Congress, the expropriation of all assets owned by a single person in excess of $10 million. Norman Thomas has taken this one step further to decry the idea of corporations and threatened to declare the legal concept of corporations to be illegal. The very next day, the state officers or offices were inundated with hundreds if not thousands of formal requests to dissolve corporations into the component businesses and applications for new consortiums in the same breath. It's obvious to Norman Thomas that this is just a ploy for the robber barons to hide the pro business practices from the government and has ordered a moratorium on reclassification until wealth redistribution is over. You won't get away that easily. Nice. Anything else here? Uh, restore order Mississippi in Oklahoma? Oh, yes, sir. I love all the extra compliance is so nice. Ooh, Georgia too. What happened over here? Hey. Snow Mountain, Georgia. On the face of Snow Mountain, deep in the state of Georgia, lies a massive base car base of bass relief carving of three Confederate figures, Davis, Lee, and Jackson. Ah, uh, heroes. And historically, the site also hosted the rebirth of the KKK. Many wish to remove such a blight from the land of the New America, especially as the other monuments the Confederacy are torn down, however, people are divided as to what to do about the relief. Some believe that it should be destroyed. James Ford, in a cynical turn, wishes to chisel down the Confederate statues and replace them with Jimmy, John Brown, and George George Padmore, feeling that these heroes of African American emancipation are best suited to inspire the new America. Diego Rivera, the artist behind the renovation of Rockefeller Plaza, suggests a cheap and honorable compromise. The leaf will be chiseled down to replace the Confederate leaders, or with leaders of social thinking and revolution, those being Marx, Lenin, and John Reed. Heroes of emancipation. Uh, heroes of emancipation probably does. Not the history of socialism, but that would be, be good to do, yeah. That would be probably the right route. The right route. Oh, we can't do Southern California yet? Huh. Oh, that has to be neighboring core. Okay. Yeah, there's another comment saying that we should play as New England. Yeah, I know they got an update on this uh, at the time of this recording, so. Definitely. Definitely, 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 definitely won't play as them. Bit more, not bad. 
anything else here? Ground pounder. He just chucking torpedoes like crazy. It's very nice, very nice. Guys hanging out just in Mexico, just having a good old time. So we'll go to war with these guys as soon as we possibly can. And then uh, go to war. Pretty much just finish off all South America as much as possible. And the impact, the Reich's pack. If we have to go to war with them, so be it. Entente needs to die, which... Uh, Third International is not doing as well as I'd hope they would, but they're slowly pushing through here, so... Don Adrian Bund is gone. I expect it's doing quite well, honestly. We will probably need to join the um, the people over there, so... It's probably what's going to happen. That's not bad. Professionalize it, and then... Ooh, oh, happy 1941, everybody. Get some more output, even though... Do we really need more output? No, we're pretty good on... We're getting a lot of things. CV bombers, I don't want to deal with some old stuff here. I don't even care about that bot. Care to cast? Nope. When I have to deal with this, I don't want to deal with any of this stuff. So I don't even care about that stuff too. Nope. Nope. Cannot. You cannot convince me to do all that stuff too. So. Forty-one. Good. 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 Uh, they're already. Because you can. Cast? Yes, please. Okay, so it's not bad. We need to get a few more refineries though. That'd be quite nice. Northern Texas, yes please. Land distribution clashes with local warlords. From the mansions of the Rockefeller, the Morgans, the Carnegies, and the Vanderbilts, to the sheer croppers who run company stores. The land of the U.S. still belongs to the capitalists. The worst example being Murphy Ranch out in California, which was a hive of silver shirt activity during the war and took months to star uh, starve out by our forces. It had been decided by Congress to ex exercise expropriation by the, on these estates. Many of the southern and western states' states have been given over to the local communes and established as public housing for the people. But few would have expected our own Red Guard to be ineffective at expropriation. One particular tough nut to crack was in Montana, where the initial militia sent in turned traitor and held on to a large estate for its warlord owner for eight months before Red Guard was forced to intervene. The program seems to be working, however, so there's no reason to reconsider. Who would have thought? Warlords. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Look at that, Florida, too. Union Vacations. One of the changes that has come with the revolution is the transformation of vacationing. The workers of America got to enjoy the luxuries that they created stolen as they were by capitalists, even though they were rightly belonging to the people. How many of the struggling masses got to enjoy picnics or visits to the national parks when they had to work so many hours just to survive and feed their children? No longer will this be the case. The various local unions across the country, regardless of which federation they belong to, have begun to take over and manage various cultural centers as well as help sponsor vacations. This is supported by the government at both the local level and national level as a way to boost productivity and encourage comradeship. Culture belongs to the people. The USA Trilogy by John Dos Passos. Film montage, modernist writing, and the social spirit comes together in John Dos Passos' new book, USA. The story itself is an examination of 12 Americans that lived through the Depression and Revolution. Passos' writing combines snippets of newspapers, propaganda, and the conversations he recalls on the streets during the terrifying months before liberation. Such an unorthodox and creative writing is usually praised by the American writers' Congress, but they remain silent. This is due to the book's depiction of illegal killings that took place throughout America during the Civil War by our soldiers. Dos Passos has defended this inclusion, saying that the truth in art, as he shows it, must still exist even if it is bleak to the nominal leader of the Writers' Congress. And it's Hemingway, this book amounted to treason and sedition against a socialist government, but his decision to censor the book and detain Dos Passos was overruled by the Congress. Calm Hemingway down? Yeah, calm him down. You gotta calm him down. Of course, right now we're still doing the new naval plan. Up next, I like this one quite a bit. Less supply consumption is actually really good. Ooh, more army XP gain. We don't really need that, though, too much. Always there, always ready. That's also pretty good, but not extremely needed. Um, I love this one. Even less supply consumption, especially when we're fighting down in South America, would be really bad. But we're going to do the next step to see what we're going to do next. With victory having been achieved, America now is at the forefront of the Syndicalist Revolution. Question is, where do we go next? Do we become the good Syndicalist soldier or free the new world? Ooh, we get more daily command or daily political power. Join the international. American aid. Send advisors to countries at war with their enemies. On the beaches, not bad. From the skies, a great, greatly forward, which is not bad too. I like that quite a bit. And the World Revolution. I, oh my gosh, that's really strong too. Get some more traction as well. Um, what else are we got here? North, northern, not North Carolina, but Northern California has finally decided to rejoin the Union. <sighs> finally. Finally, finally, finally. Export focus is not bad. Um, or we do free the new world, which I like is a whole lot of that as well. Friendship with Mexico. We'll be wondering about that, please go ahead. But war plan green, of course. This has been for coming for a long time. The Mexican state must fall and its workers granted the same freedom we've achieved for ourselves. I don't, I, why can't we do both? We can free the new world and be good citizens like soldiers. You know, I never really understood that. War plan red. Now our eyes must turn north to the British and start for Canada to fall. Look to the south. With dominance achieved over the Canada and Mexico, our eyes cast south where the rest of North and South America. Those countries who have not become part of the revolution should be dealt with at once. The 
is Elko a volcano intensifies its thrombolian activity even further. Reports from geologists, our geologists, indicate that the Azalco volcano is indeed increasing its activity even further than before. Now the volcano erupts once every eight minutes. And the local civilian populace has become increasingly uneasy about the situation as there's no current <clears throat> or no current government plans in case of interruption. Prepare evacuations just in case. That'd be good. Hopefully they don't join the on town, but you never know. I'm gonna Oh, no, there you go. There you go. They should be able to win there now. How oh, are we doing over here? Convoys, very nice. New Mexico. Oh, new naval plan. Thank you. Next up. The, the president uncovers a greater business plot. Norman Thomas, an attorney general, appeared at Congress today to allege that they uncovered a connection between the corporations that su supported Huey Long, MacArthur, and the Pacific States. The accusation alleges that business interests in America were behind the degradation of civil politics during the revolution and the event of the syndicates being defeated. The corporations would be the true power behind the presidency. The president proposed immediate complete dissolution and expropriation of the state of assets belonging to the traders in this grand conspiracy. Congress has taken it back with most initially supporting this measure. The list of traders, however, caused concern among certain members of the IWW and AFL. It appears that some of the corporations on the chopping block includes large pharmaceutical companies like American Company. Many con- or Co. Many congressmen worry about punishing the medical profession will harm the life expectancy of the CSA. An alternate proposal for these corporations will be collectivized and their members rehabilitated and left free. Small sacrifice for the future without capitalism. Will this have them rehabilitated? No. Just a flat out no. So, let me know in the comments below. Should we do a good syndicalist soldier or should we free the new world? Now, I'm feeling, I'm pulling towards a free new world, but that doesn't mean we still can't join the, the Third International, I think. I could be wrong, but that'd actually be really cool as well if we could do that. Uh, General Defense Committee would not be too bad. Ooh, that's not bad, too. Education Revolution, a notable professor out of John Hopkins University by the name of John Dewey has been appointed Secretary of Education. In Dewey's eyes, the purpose of education should not revolve around the acquisition of a predetermined set of skills, but rather the realization of one's full potential and the ability to use those skills for the greater good, of course. Ahem. <clears throat> In particular, he emphasizes that school must include hands-on learning previous, or famously stating, If knowledge comes from the impressions made upon us by natural objects, it is impossible to procure knowledge without the use of objects, which impress the mind. Dewey's attractors, including Catholic Workers' Movement, claim his politics or policies are antagonistic to religious education. Ultimately, Norman Thomas has decided to endorse the Dewey's reforms towards a new generation Woody Guthrie music tour. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Roll the union on. Well, actually, no, I'll read it anyways. Well, the reconstruction on the, along the way. The famed musician Woody Guthrie and his band of almanac singers has gone on a musical tour. Popular with many throughout the country, Guthrie and his band play all classics such as Solidarity Forever and There's Power and Union, but they also have written many new songs such as This Land's Your Land, Ease My Revolutionary Mind, Turn the Capitalists Down, and All You Capitalists Are Bound to Lose. <laughs> the tour has proven to be widely popular in all venues that he and his band have played at. Roll the union on. And we'll deal with the feds. Since the beginning of the revolution, we've summoned and accumulated an extensive list of political prisoners whom are waiting trial. Now that the war is over, the time to judge these men has finally come. Although some amongst their leadership believe in rehabilitating these captives, other more radical comrades are eagerly calling for extreme revolutionary justice. Absolutely. Cool. Actually, since you're here, I'm going to shove you in here too. Mostly because we just can't, so there you go. Do too. Uh, what's going on over here? Not bad, not bad. More divisions, yes please. Ooh. Yeah, look at all the supply issues. Yeah, I don't like supply issues. Good, good, good. Um, refineries. The supply depot has been built down in Panama, which is great, 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 great. And get another refinery. I uh, get a civvy, actually. Artillery is nice. Get some more anti-air. Are we missing anything here besides maybe some planes? Honestly, probably not. Anti-tank. Yeah, I'm not going to use anti-tank in this campaign. It's fine. Heavy tanks, nah. Uh, well, interwar is not really worth it in my opinion right now. Scout planes, no thank you. We can use more planes. There you go. Planes, planes, planes. Naval bombers. Um, there you go. Go up to one, go up to one, go up to there. It's fine. Cool. Avant garde film. Avant garde uh, forms are inherently a political tool, but the artists have shown an overwhelming support for the SPA in 1936. From the surrealists in New York shocking viewers with the graphic sex on screen to the Dadaists will ca challenge the concept of popular art. As part of this movement, many of the country's thousands of movie theaters have been expropriated to ensure the work of this caliber is not censored by prudish theater owners. They are brightly painted and carrying on boards a printing press, government complaint office, printed political leaflets and pamphlets, library books, and a mobile movie theater. Theaters are part of the new revolutionary government to indicate the values and programs of scattered populace of America, particularly the rural regions of the country. Make sure kids don't see the surrealist films, at least. Yeah. There you go. Colorado, Southern Texas, Paul. Oh, wow. Yeah, they definitely... I think the Third International is really going to need us, actually. 
Because these guys are doing really well. I mean, it doesn't help that the Russian Republic is in a two-front war, but... Wow. Even the United States of Greater Austria, which I love, is doing quite well. Or quite, uh... Yeah, they're not doing bad at all. Oh my gosh. How do they... That's really sad. Yeah, we might have to join Third International. Um... You're saying attache. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, why not? Just our war goals. Ask. Can we not join their faction like normal? Prove relations. We can't join their faction. Uh, are you guys leading it? Sylvia Pankhurst. Huh? It's weird. Okay. Next step. And deal with the Fed boys. Because we will need some political power to just deal with them too, so. Alright. So much rubber is going to be needed. And then we'll uh, deal with Jim Crow. Oh, first World Science Fiction Convention. Today in New York City, the first ever World Science Fiction, science fiction Convention was gathered. Or convened, gathering literary, literary minds of science fiction to discuss and talk about the genre. And people such as John W. Campbell, Isaac Asimov, Ray Bradbury, Donald A. Wolfheim, Wolheim, Frederick Pohl, Michael, John Michael, Robert A. W. Laudes, and Jack Gillespie. While well, at a moderate size of 200 participants, it was still considered a success with a second one planned next year, the War of Tomorrow, and Art Deco versus Modernism. For the most of the 20s and 30s, the Art Deco style was the dominant type of architecture, and from the coast to coast, buildings were built in the Art Deco way. However, a number of revolutionary architects within the SBA wished to break away from that style and seek a more modernist approach, inspired by the designs coming out of France, Italy, or Britain. The AFL has come out in force uh, to counter that the Art Deco it's an American style that cannot be erased by political whims. The AFL points out Diego Rivera's recent demolition of the Rockefeller Center artwork. After his modification of chiseling the faces of Marx and Lenin over Zeus and Thor were decried as being in poor taste, which style should be supported? Modernism? Uh, modernist. Art Deco. Well. For the SBA? What modernism, man. It's fine. Whatever. Oh, uh, we actually could use more daily naval XP, maybe. And then again, I guess we're getting more daily naval XP. Air XP, maybe? Close air support is super nice to get. And circumvent penalty. Bunch of barns? Oh, there goes the Kaiser. Goodbye. You have the feds, and then transformative justice, probably. That's eh. for all. That's not bad. That's actually really good for more stability as well. Ah, uh, destroy Jim Crow. Ridding ourselves of Southern terrorists will not just be a matter of military might. We'll need the, to uproot the bigotry and racism that plagues America for centuries and crush Long's cold personality. Let us make Lincoln proud and bring old Dixie down once and for all. Not bad. As we just build, 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 build. Cool. How many more days do we have to wait? Probably quite a while. I might install the fast justification war mod just to get through these countries really fast down here. Um, yeah, kind of wait really go down there too. Which kind of sucks, but really, that's good. Alright, so I'm throwing these guys and then throwing these guys too. That's good. Yeah, strategic bombers. I mean, we could use them for news, but yeah. We'll see. Don't want to deal with it. I, I don't want to deal with it, literally. So. Your fighters, I don't care. We're making them anyways. Naval bombers, don't care. CV naval bombers, nah, that's fine, whatever. Attack bombers. Yeah, we just need, we're not producing anything because we don't have enough rubber. So from now on, or we're gonna keep at least three lines going for uh, rubber production. Don't worry, Max. Up there. Philadelphia, might as well. Military factories we're fine with. It's just rubber we need. Supplies. Prisons overflowing with reactionaries. No could nobody could have expected a crime punishment system would become so overstuffed as to require this decision. With the numerous small schisms in the SBS left our government, with its fair share of detractors as well as expected resistance, thousands upon thousands are being fed, clothed, and housed under a dime for the crimes against the people. Our more reform minded are worried that the prisons will be a breeding ground for more uh, reactionary thoughts, so working men should be diverted to work camps. There, <clears throat> there they will be able to pay back the state for what they stole from the people. Vanguards believe that they've been too lenient on these traitors and must execute the traitors of the highest standing in the prisons, as the rebellion is surely about to come. The Catholic workers' movement strongly discreet and claim that the exile and life elsewhere are the most Christian thing to do. Execute them? Take the working man to the work camps. Exile them. Canada. Well, that does literally nothing for us. We take them out. Deal with America first. Or at women's liberation. Getting more stability would be good, though. I do want more stability first. Emancipation for all. Yeah. Bullish and Bane is a working man who makes the color of his skin the stepping stone of his imaginary superiority. Proletarians of all colors and creeds fought and bled together to our new America. The loyal immigrants should also be afforded natural-born citizenship and the spirit of emancipation. 
Joy long as terrorists. Oh, you betcha. Oh, that's actually not bad. Get more stability too. And better. More compliance group and less resistance speed. Pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. Ah. LA. Finally, LA. Nothing like a good ride in LA. Anything else? Oh, pretty much done. Pouring everything else? Nice. Finally, America pretty much reunited. Uh, get some more dockyards, get some more of that too. Keep building more roads, because we can build refineries even faster there in the future. Um, what else do we have? Mostly infantry. Marine stuff like one. It's not bad. It's not great though. And travel in America. With the revolution over and reconstruction underway, debate over the future of the travels come up. Automotive unions believe the cars will be a perfect vehicle for the new America, a symbol of freedom that Americans fought for, however. Our trade unions contest the claim and believe that America should invest in trains as a way to help connect all towns and cities. Who shall come to support? Automotive unions? unions. I prefer, prefer these ones, but since I've already read this one, I'll go to end the episode here. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we destroy Jim Crow. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.